uh, to answer a question, a comment that was left on the channel page was uh, about these uh, spark plug taps for these. Uh, it's a 7818. A U.S. Uh, U.N.S. is is the designation on there. Seven H dash eighteen U.N.S. It's a straight, it's a straight tap. It's not a pipe tap. The um, this one happens to be labeled as a spark plug tap. Uh, the part number on it was uh, ninety seven three zero four. A century brand. Uh, it's a it's a good good quality tap, and I just ran the I, I just cleaned the threads out there, and I thought about uh, one of the questions was what kind of spark plug to use in these type M's, and uh, you know any of these I, I just happened to to pour out this handful here that's a that's a that's a far stone really old uh, same thread uh, that's a Bethlehem. Uh, AC 75 common. The uh, that's a champion 22. That would be a that'd work. The that's a tractor plug champion and an old ra ha ha. One of them ra ha 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 plugs. Ra ha. Anyways, same thread. It would be a uh, it would be period perfect for that engine. That that would, that, that would be a good uh, plug to put in there. Uh, it's that's just a blue one. I don't know what brand it is. The Auto Light. All of these are the same thread. I think the old Ford cars had them in there. You know, a pretty common plug. Num uh, if I had to, if somebody, if I had to answer the question, what kind to put in here? A Champion Number One. One of them old time Number One common. That's a good plug for these engines. Uh, uh, but this one here's off the shelf down there at the parts store last week. Uh, you can get different numbers and that's the heat range is the numbers and on any given engine the uh, it's according to how you got your engine timed you know how good a spark you got there's several factors that not not to get off on a spark plug video here uh, it just there are just several factors that comes into what kind of plug to put in this engine here and on, on on you could I could build five of these engines, and one of them would run better on an Auto Light. One of them would run better on a Champion. One of them would run better on a W10, and one of them would run better on a say a number one. So it's it's not one plug fits all. You should have a box of plugs like this, and then just try them, and you will find one that actually makes a difference that you can tell. When everything else fails, just get you one of these Auto Light 3076. You know, about three bucks, three fifty, unless you buy them on the internet. <laughs> uh, them boys on that internet there can get about ten or twelve dollars out of one of these plugs there when they get somebody bidding on it. It's just uncalled for. But anyways, the the what the. More important than the plug is the index. The index of that plug. When you look up in that hole yonder, the, the the position that plug ends up is more important, I think, than anything else about this plug. The heat range is pretty important too. But you see where that little that little finger comes over yonder? Okay, there is actually a dead place on that plug right there. If this right here is a facing the open chamber, then the spark has to come around it. If this is like this right here, then it just hits it head on. But in this head here, you can, if you just put your finger down in there, you can easily assert that the that flame should go straight back. So what you do, put a little mark on the plug right here, screw it in. Uh, till it bottoms out, tighten it up, and see where your mark is. See where that your little electrode finger there is pointing. And if it's pointing like this to the to up to here, then then that would be a bad position for that plug. Uh, you you cannot expect to get to 100% out of that plug. 
So the way you do that is put an extra washer in there. And they do make indexing washers, which is nothing but different thicknesses washers. Do, do the leg work on it. Uh, you will uh, educate yourself on spark plugs, and your engine will be more happy for it. We've got that thread. Let's move on here. We got that thread yonder chased, so all is good there. Uh, well, we 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 getting ready to put the head on this engine. So we, we've uh, you remember we rebuilt it. Just go over yonder and look on that IEC series, and you will see the complete build on this head. That's the ones that we built the bows for. Everything works really good on it. Really, really good. The uh, the choke and the way that thing works. If you can see down in yonder, when that comes up, it closes up that. That choke valve, simple, really simple, really simple. And if you cannot get your engine to idle really low, sometimes a bigger part of the time is that hole in there will be rusted, especially on a no rebuilt junk engine. That hole will be rusted bigger than the flapper is. And when that happens, then it can't shut off the air. The next biggest thing that goes wrong with this head is this shaft or the hole in the head where that governor, that choke plate there, that mechanism where that goes through yonder, if that is worn out and you're getting air in there, then it won't have the suction on the carburetor, on the mixer. So if you have a loose shaft here, if that shaft is loose, then the only way to fix that is to take it out and put a bushing in it uh, or an oversized shaft or both. But we're gonna let's put this on. Let's put this on the engine.